Hey everyone, it's Leslie Yeoman from Hungry Happy Crafts and happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Here in the UK we are celebrating Mother's Day and today I'm sharing two Mother's Day cards. I've made them exactly the same and they are featuring lots of mama elephant stamps and dies as well. So I've used the little painter's stamp set and a couple of other alphabet stamps and the zipper die as well. So I'm starting off with um, two panels cut out of white cardstock because I'm making two cards today. And then I need a panel underneath. So when I open the zipper, it reveals a another layer. And I'm doing pink underneath one and then this sort of yellow orange color underneath the second one. I've pulled out this stamp set called Just Hatched from Mama Elephant. And there's a cute little greeting that says, you're a good egg. And we say this a lot in my family, you're a good egg or you're a bad egg. So I thought this would be really fun to put onto a Mother's Day card. I'm lining this up where I want it to be whenever you pull back that zipper. And my mini Misty is really useful for this to make sure that I get it in exactly the spot that I want it to be. I'm inking that up with my Versafine black pigment ink and then sprinkling some clear embossing powder over the top so when I heat it up it's nice and glossy with some little bit of texture there. Moving over to my images I'm stamping these little guys onto some Nina cardstock because I will be using my Copic markers today but I want to have a bit more dimension so I am actually embossing these in black. So I'm using a black ink with clear embossing powder and I'm doing two cards so I'm stamping twice the amount of images that I need. Once I have all of my little elements stamped and covered in embossing powder I'll blast that with my heat gun and move over to colouring in my little critters. I'm using very simple colouring for these guys. They're, they're tiny, tiny images. They don't need a lot of work. I'm using two or three tones of yellow for the chicks. All the chicks are coloured in exactly the same way. For the egg, I'm using a cool shadow tone and blending that out with a colourless blender. And then some really light browns for the easel. Also along the edge of this paper or canvas on the easel, I'll add some of that blue, that cool blue color that I used in the egg. For the paint can and the little tubes, I'm going to introduce two colors. I've got blue on the tubes and then some pink for the paint bucket. And I'm going to be bringing some more blue and pink into my card design using some of my distress inks a little bit later on. But first let's get these guys all colored and then I can move over to cutting them all out. I wanted to have a mummy chicken in my canvas. So the idea is that these little chicks are painting a picture for mummy for Mother's Day. And this, I think it's a rooster really, but <laughs> this mother chicken is from the lunar animal set from Mama Elephant. So I added that on there. And then for my greeting, I want it to say, hello, mom. And the hello, I have used my Kali letter stamp set. And I'm adding a little flourish. There's a Y that has a flourish on it. I wanted to add that to the start of the H. And to do the mom, I'm using this new stamp set called Iconic Letters. And it has um, a shadow uh, alphabet and then also a solid alpha as well that you can combine them together. So I'm adding some other colors using my Simon Says Stamp dye ink and I want to create an area almost like grass but in a real loose inked way. I'm using this really cheap paintbrush. It's got super soft bristles and tapping my distress ink onto a craft mat and with the bristles being just ever so slightly damp, picking up some ink and rubbing it across my card to get this real loose colored effect. 
I pulled up the corner of the zipper so that it is a bit more obvious to mum whenever she gets it that she has to pull that back. And now I can figure out exactly where I want all my little guys to go. And I'm sticking these down using some glue dots. I haven't coloured in the mama hen yet. I wanted to get it all stuck down and figure out what colours I'm going to put on my car first. But I do come in a little bit later on to colour that in using some brown tones. Here's where I'm adding some paint. So this is the paint that my little chickens have made an absolute mess with, of course. And I'm adding some picked raspberry distress ink, just two pieces of packaging here. You can use just acetate. And I'm picking up the colour with a water pen or water brush and adding this to the image. Over on the left where these two little guys are using the tube of blue paint, I have used peacock feathers. I'm giving my whole project a bit of a sprinkle or a flicking some paint or ink really over the top to have some splatters. And here I've added the colour to the mama hen. I'm just going to add some final touches now, colouring in the beaks before I stick down this these two panels together. So the idea here is to make sure that you don't put glue on that skinny zipper strip so that it is free from adhesive and it can be pulled away. So now that I have this layered up, I can go ahead and stick this onto a card blank and I'm, I've taken a, a side folding note card for this and I've pulled out a stamp from Personal Impressions. It's a Paula Pascal all year round stamp set and it has Mother's Day and also the word happy and I've pulled out the three same colours that I use to stamp mom in the front. I'm using these to create a repeated pattern of the word happy on the inside. To finish off, I did actually have some stamped and coloured images spare, so I stuck two little eggs and this cute little guy popping out of his shell on the inside of the card as well. And I think that's a really nice way to bring the design into the inside of the card. I finished off with a couple of nouveau drops in a white colour and my cards are done. Thank you so much for watching this video. Here's some more videos that you may like. If you haven't already, please subscribe to make sure that you don't miss any of my other videos as soon as they're released. You can also leave me a like and a comment down here and don't forget to follow me on social media at Hungry Heffy. I'll see you there. Have a great day and happy crafting. Bye.